Now to another search, the one for a missing mom. It continues tonight. Jennifer Houston's husband, he provided an update in the search efforts this afternoon. Our Chris Holmstrom joins us live with more on that story. Chris. Dan, I spoke with the family. They tell me they are running out of leads, hitting a lot of roadblocks. And as you can imagine, a lot of frustration. And now they're hoping that someone in the community either spots their SUV or Jennifer. It's been eight days since Jennifer's disappearance. As of now, we still have no leads as to her whereabouts. An emotional husband searching for his wife and mother of his two young boys, a Dundee woman who vanished without a trace. This is completely out of character for her. She would never do this. Jennifer Houston was last seen Thursday when she told her husband she was going to run some errands. Shortly after, she was caught on surveillance video, withdrawing money at the bank, filling up with gas, and buying items from this Rite Aid in Newburgh. Items that her husband says are not unusual. It was a hot day. She grabbed a Gatorade. We do have trail mix in the house from time to time, and the sleep, the sleep aids, I, I think, was just due to the fact that she had had headaches for the last three days, and she just wanted a good night's sleep. But the big question remains, where did she go, and how could someone just disappear? It's a question this family wants answers to. Jennifer, if you could see this or hear this, I love you. If you can come home, Please do so. The boys need you. I, I need you. And back out here live, the family says they are working on a new search plan for Jennifer. As for authorities, they have ended their search as of this morning. But they say if you know anything about her whereabouts, call authorities immediately. Reporting live in Newburgh, I'm Chris Holmstrom, Quinn 6 News. Okay, Chris, thank you. And stay with Coin 6 News for updates on the search for Jennifer Houston. If anything changes, we'll have it for you during our evening newscast and always on coin.com. Well,